guys, King Kaiju here, and today we're going to be doing another Kaiju review. And today's Kaiju review is on Destroya. This Destroya figure is pretty interesting because while it does have a quite a few good things about it, there's also a couple odd things about it that I'm not sure why Bandai decided to do. But I'll get into that when we talk about some of its features. Speaking of which, let's go on to detail. I can definitely say that one of the ups of this figure is that it is very nicely detailed. All throughout the figure, there's a lot of nice bumps, ridges, and cracks to show a lot of nice detail. Even the wing membrane is very nicely detailed on this Destroyer figure, which is pretty cool. Even Destroyer's massive tail is also very nicely detailed, having small little segments all throughout the tail. The front of the figure is also very nicely detailed. You can see that little chest thingy. I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but... You know what I'm talking about. Legs are also very nicely detailed. If I bring it in a bit closer, you can see at the ankles, it has a lot of nice detail, and I mean a lot of nice detail. The back is also very nicely detailed. And bringing the camera up again, the face is also very nicely detailed, although there is a little bit of sloppy paint around the teeth, but it's kind of small, so it's not that big of an issue for me. One of the things that I am a bit flustered on about this figure is that the articulation is incredibly limited. Wings can rotate, so you can get them folded back if you want. I'm not sure what you would want that for, but if it's what you want, there you go. And he also has leg articulation, so he can sit down if he wants to, or stand up. Or maybe he's kicking something, or whatever you want to do with the legs. But that's it for articulation. That is it, just four points. With a figure that looks like this. You could have at least gave him some tail articulation. Or at the least made some little swivel joints for the arms. Or maybe at the head. But nope. Nothing. Come on Bandai. We're moving him to the side. So you probably guess that means it's sizing time. So first we'll compare Destroya up next to an Ultra Monster. Super Alien Hipperito. And as you can see. Super Alien Hipperito dwarfs Destroya. Which is a massive problem. Because Destroya should be as tall if not taller than Super Alien Hipperito. And you're starting to see one of the main problems I have with this figure. Next, we'll compare him to another Heisei buddy, Rodan. And I have to hold up Rodan because his legs can't hold him up, but this actually is a little bit accurate because Rodan was kind of a short monster. And while I think Destroyer should still be a little bit taller, it's taller than Rodan, which is fine. However, I can't say the same for our next figure. The Heisei Godzilla. Yeah, Destroyer is a little bit taller than Godzilla, but he should be much, much taller, like a head taller than Godzilla. But nope, he is roughly around the same height, which is pretty disappointing. So overall, this Destroyer figure, while it has its ups, it mainly has quite a few downs. The articulation is basic, the sizing is terrible, and the detail is awesome. One good thing, Two mediocre to bad things, which in my opinion is not a good figure. Actually, going back to sizing, I will bring out another figure to compare to Destroya because it kind of just shows all of my frustrations with this figure. The Aggregate Destroya. This figure is another form of Destroya, a larva form, basically. But this is still the better figure. I don't know how it is. But the larva form of Destroya is better. It has more articulation, it's much better sized. I don't get it. I don't get how the larva form of Destroya is better than the actual form of Destroya. That is just shameful on Bandai's part. Taking my ranting away, thank you all for watching. I will see you all in the next video. The next review is probably going to either be King Goldross or Gamera. You guys can decide in the comments. But thank you everyone for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.